Reggie, let's start at the very beginning. Number one! Number one. Here's an uplifting story from my home country. England's Department of Education recently decided to end a programme that provides free meals for children from low-income families whilst schools are closed. That caught the attention of 22-year-old Manchester United star forward Marcus Rashford, who then began tirelessly campaigning to save the program. Now, normally, we don't know Marcus Rashford for government policy reform. We know him for this. Rashford could be in. Black stays down. Marcus Rashford! 3 0 to Manchester United. They are running right here now. But Marcus Rashford's campaign pitted him against Prime Minister Boris Johnson, seen here looking like a 55 year old toddler. Marcus wrote a heartfelt open letter to politicians detailing his experience as a recipient of free school meals, saying 10 years ago, I would have been one of those children and you would never have heard my voice and seen my determination to become part of the solution. Now, in response, yesterday, Boris Johnson announced the free meals programme has been extended with £120 million of funding, all thanks to Marcus Rashford. That is a lot of political persuasion for an athlete. To put that into perspective, this is like Steph Curry convincing Donald Trump to wear a mask. But this got me thinking, now that Marcus Rashford is making his entrance into politics, maybe Boris Johnson should enter into professional sports. <laughs> <laughs> Some forehand you've got there. <laughs> okay, we're not tennis, maybe soccer? <laughs> so, not soccer, maybe rugby? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Well done, Marcus Rashford. The whole country is proud of you. What number are we on to now, Reg? I think we're on number two. I think we're on number two. Now, right now, it's more important than ever to be respectful of personal space. So if you get within six feet of someone else, prepare to face the consequences. That's not normal. Oh my God, he's so big. Oh my God, he's not gonna move. He's not gonna move. I mean, if you poke him enough, he'll move. <gasps> Is he alive even? Yeah. Oh, he's pissed. He looked at me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Honestly, I'm Team Toad. I really am. I'm Team Toad in this. Reggie, give me one more number, if you will. I'm going to give you number three. Number three. Now, finally, yesterday, the Trump administration filed a lawsuit against former National Security Advisor John Bolton over his forthcoming tell-all book. Donald Trump falsely claimed that any conversation with the president is classified. Uh, they're highly classified. I told that to the Attorney General before. I will consider every conversation with me as president highly classified. Now, that claim is absolutely not true. Not every conversation with the president is classified, according to lawyers, government officials, and the Constitution. But over the past few years, President Trump has said some things that I'm sure he wishes were classified. So we're going to do him a favor and classify them now, starting with these. By injection inside or, or almost a cleaning. Classified. It's tremendously big and tremendously wet. Classified. The op-ed published in the failing New York Times by an anomalous, really an anomalous. Classified. For Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large uh, brain. Classified. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. Classified. And they've come up with uh, the AIDS vaccine. Technically not a conversation, but still classified. Now remember, you can't tell anybody that you saw those. That was three things. Three things.